That's correct, Sean. The employees are telling us when they started this protest and urged customers to boycott the stores, they thought they'd be out for a week or two at the most. And now, just when it seems that a deal was about to be struck, their hopes have been dashed again. Like many people, Market Basket employees were hoping today would find them back at work. We had high hopes on Friday that this thing was going to be over. Instead, employees found themselves back in line, protesting the ouster of fired CEO Arthur T. DeMoulis. On Friday, a statement from the governors of New Hampshire and Massachusetts said that RDT was close to gaining control of the supermarket chain. But with the weekend gone, there's still no deal in place. I was excited to come back, but to hear that they're unde they're undecided again, it stinks. A notice posted on the website We Are Market Basket says, in part, we're calling for calm and for faith in ATD and his team. The size of this transaction, which we believe to be so close, is enormous. Still, the protest is entering its sixth week, and it's taking its toll on employees. It's an emotional roller coaster. You know, we just get ready to get off the ride and we're back on it again. RDT is said to be offering $1.5 billion for the half of the company he doesn't control. It remains to be seen if if that's enough. Employees say they're not sure what the sticking points are. As for their mood, a somber. Everybody's uh, concerned. Uh, but you know, uh, the spirits for the resolve are just as strong as it's ever been. The notice adds that we have become accustomed to disappointment, and now that we seem to be so close to our goal, this one certainly stings. Michelle St. Pierre agrees. She has worked at Market Basket for 20 years. Asked to describe the last six weeks. It's very stressful. Very, I mean, we're all sticking together as a family. We're all fighting for the, what we all believe in. And that is RDT back in charge. Now, employees say they are confident that a drill, excuse me, a deal will be struck soon, and that's because they say things can't go on like this much longer. Reporting live in Nashua, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.